Is that Chris? Very, very, very sad case, man. You know, my grandma always told me this one quote. People don't appreciate what they got until it's took it from them. In this case, people don't appreciate their freedom until it's took it from them, man. This situation is so sad. But trying to use your pregnancy as a scapegoat is even worse because the moment they tell your sentence, I bet your water break, man. Crazy word. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bro. Just look at Jay here, y'all. Back up with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and late night video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got Miss Alicia Andrews on the roster. Yes, y'all, Alicia Andrews, one of the women that was arrested in connection to Fulio passing on the roster. And it seems like she pretty much has went on to say that she would not waive her right to a speedy trial and that she's trying to get this stuff over with. Nah, she's trying to use her baby as a, a way to like maybe maybe shorten her time but literally she know bro she in for a rude awakening now we're gonna talk about it but before we do man real quick y'all know my routine hit that like button man and comment in the comment section tap in if you tap in with the video and also man smash that notification bell so you can be notified anytime i drop a video and i can keep y'all updated on this situation now pretty much as i said man if y'all know what's going on we got another update on folio case now if y'all are unaware you know three people have been taken into custody excuse me Three men have been taken into custody with Fulio passing on um, Mr. Isaiah Chance, uh, Sean Gathright, and then I think the guy, uh, something Murphy, you feel what I'm saying? And one guy is still on the run. And then you had this girl, Alicia Andrews, who was actually the boyfriend of Isaiah Chance, also known as Gutter Zay. Now, pretty much, you know, uh, she got arrested with them in connection. Her role in this whole M, she tried to play oblivious, was that, you know, she was trailing Fulio from hotel to wherever he was performing at. Pretty much in a car, her and Isaiah Chance, her boyfriend, was following Fulio, watching his every move. And then she was guilty because she ended up giving her phone to Gutterze, and when she called up Sean Gathright, and they ended up hitting the car up. Now, of course, when she got arrested, she tried to play guilty, or she tried to play dumb, like she knew what was going on, saying she went there to try to see um, what time the, the party started, whatever the case may be, but they ended up proving her line again, and her situation has been bad. Now, today news came out that, you know, pretty much she would not waive her right to a speedy trial. And you feel what I'm saying? They said that she's pregnant and uh, her trial is set for January 2025 and her pregnancy date is February the 16th. Now, if y'all don't know what that means, I had to do my research pretty much. Um, they give the court up to 90 days to pretty much put them on trial or they throw the case away. Now, most time people do that because they can just shorten up time and they can't really find as much evidence as they want to. But in this situation, it's bad because it's all on camera and, you know, they brought two phones when they did the hit. So. She kind of in a bad situation. Now, like I said, they went on to say that, you know, she has a baby on the way and her birth date is due on February 16th. Your Honor? Yep. If I may, I just want to notate on my court because we see I'm, I'm new here is my first appearance. My client actually is pregnant. So that's another reason why there's certain decisions. When is she due? She's due February 15th, 16th. Okay. So just uh, for the record. Thank you. Noted. Okay. Um, so then let's look at our calendars for a trial date for the remaining defendants. All right. Because the the biggest issue in a case like this with four separate defense attorneys are the schedules of the defense attorneys and the state. So um Ms. Rayner is out of pocket most of the spring, correct? Correct. For her legislative commitments. Um so we're looking at late 25, early 26. Now, this is sad because people are trying to say that maybe because she's um, already kind of cooperating, which people think she's going to take the stand, which I'm pretty sure she will because she's got to give birth. And who want to be really caught up in this case? And people think she's going to get charged with conspiracy. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, she probably going to get fried only because... The guys, um, I forgot the guy named the people that was pretty much handling the case said that everybody that deal with this or the woman, matter of fact, said that everyone that's involved in this case, they're trying to get them first degree M because, you know, they were trying to set an example out of them. Now, uh, granted, she didn't actually pull the, you know, but she just is guilty because it'd be different if she didn't know what was going on, but she was aware of what was going on and they was following Fulio. You know what I'm saying? And her trying to use that baby as a scapegoat ain't going to help you, my love, because guess what? They gonna charge that baby with accessory. Nah, trolling. All jokes aside. But on a serious note, um, you're gonna give birth. 
But the moment you get birth, they throwing them cuffs on you, you know? And that's the sad part because you know, like you knew what you were doing, you know, and you putting your baby life or whatever at risk, you know, you crashed out when you were pregnant. You feel what I'm saying? And that'd be the sad part though. You know, women love doing stuff like this, playing creep, trying to snake somebody, trying to be involved in men's stuff. And the moment stuff get real, you want to act like a woman all of a sudden, you know, and people are trying to say that she was in the party. She was not in the party with Julio. She was just following him in the car with, you know, what I'm saying Isaiah Chance for the third time, you know. But, you know, this is crazy. I don't think she will be able to get out of this. They're going to fry her. She's not innocent. She's not as, as, as oblivious to it that she tried to play. You know, um, she's done for, you know. But I don't blame her because when people be waiting on trial all day, you know, like, I'm, I'm, that's me. Hey, do me the same way. Let's get this trial out of the way. Give me my time. You know, when you caught down bad like that, you can try to fight it so much. But these guys are cooked, bro. Like, you know. And they trial ain't gonna be until mess around 2027. Y'all know how they do. They keep the land trial, the land trial, the land trial. I ain't no telling when these people are gonna actually go on trial, you know. Just a sad situation, you know. Sad kid lost his mom and his dad, man. Sad situation. Now she probably, maybe, you know, I'm gonna give her a benefit doubt. Maybe she will come home in some years. But that's just sad, man. You gotta be smarter than that. You got a kid, you know better. You have no business doing that, you know. And end of the day, gotta reap what you sow. It's a consequence behind everything you do, man. Rest in peace to Fulio. Crash out of the year goes to these four. And this other dude, whenever he get caught, man. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. Let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Y'all already know who it is. It's Lucas J. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more. And yeah, bro. I'm out, man.